Hello, Pop Warner fans. Joel Balthazer here with Bob Field, and uh, we're doing a special off-site edition of the post-game recap. We were over here at Disney's Boardwalk, and we just finished up Thursday at the Pop Warner Super Bowl and National Cheer Dance Championships. We're getting you ready for Friday. What a day we have with Division II Pop Warner Super Bowl action. But also, at the same time, we have a very special guest joining us, ESPN Sports Center. Yeah, that's going to be very cool. They're going to do it for the first time ever. They're going to be live from the ESPN uh, Wide World of Sports Complex from, I believe, 11 a.m. until 1.30 p.m. You can see this on ESPN. Don't miss it because they've got some of their top people on it. Should be some very interesting features. And bingo, it's right at the heart of Pop Warner National Championships. 11 a.m., the first ever sports center at the Pop Warner Super Bowl. Catch it live if you're at home or if you're here, stop by the set and see everything as it unfolds. We had international games that were great today. It was very interesting to see some of these teams that are really starting to get very good. It used to be that Canada kind of, you know, dominated that, but Mexico won one of those games against Canada today. I think the Canadians split, which is fine. Uh, we had a team from Dubai. We had a couple of teams from Mexico. That area of Pop Warner is growing quite a bit. Tomorrow is going to be very interesting. We have a bunch of visitors with us from the Chestnut League in Japan. That's, they've come all the way over here, and they're with us for the next couple of days. One of the things they're going to be involved in, along with some of the other international players, is a special speed clinic that's being set up at uh, 10 a.m. tomorrow at the complex with a very well-known uh, training and conditioning guy, a guy named uh, uh, Tom Shaw, yep. who actually uh, was a uh, professional uh, trainer with the uh, New England Patriots for a while, and he's made a great uh, career out of training uh, NFL athletes, so it should be great. They're just a fantastic group of people. I had a chance to talk to them for a few minutes, so I hope they have a great time tomorrow. Today we also had the ESPN3 live broadcast, the PW4 Pop Warner Cheerleading Championships, and uh, that went phenomenal, but also we had something else going on in the morning. What about dance? Yeah, but what about dance? I tell you what, it was fantastic. You saw all these girls in all these fantastic costumes, not just girls, because there are guys too on some of these squads, and the creative routines that they put together are terrific. Um, some of the folks, you know, came a long way with not only just the costumes, but the ideas themselves and the routines. And it's always a big entertainment part of the week to see dance. So when people say, what about dance? It's right there in the heart of everything we do at Pop Warner. Yeah, and a special treat, some of those dance champions actually got to compete live on the broadcast tonight. So that was a pretty cool experience for them as well. So tomorrow, full day of action. We're going to crown some Division II Pop Warner National Champions. We got Sports Center here for a couple hours, and you also have the final day of the National Cheer and Dance Championships. Hope you enjoy all the action. We'll see you back here tomorrow.